my name is Jessica and I have no idea what I'm doing. Today I'm going to be trying out the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in Fair Rose. I already tried out the hydrating one. Um, I'm going to try out this one next. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to apply directly on my face from the doe foot applicator. That's probably going to be very large. Yes, it is. Just like the other one. Um, just in case it doesn't work out for me, I'm going to apply with clean fingers from there. Um, if it doesn't work out for me this way, I can give it to someone without, you know, contaminating it. So I'm going to try it. Oh, that's too low. <laughs> I'm going to try it under my eyes. And then on whatever else is going on down here. This is a first impression. I have not tried this before. Um, I think I'm going to start with just using my fingers to like pat it in and whatnot. I'm also using a new camera. Um, I got a new phone. Got a couple new phones. I don't know if I should bother telling you the long, ridiculous story of the new phone. But um, basically, my old phone is on its last leg. It's been on its last leg for quite some time. Um, yeah, I'll skip most of the story. Uh, basically, I got a new phone. The new phone is not working. So this is the new new phone. Um, it's an iPhone SE 2020. My mom told me I shouldn't have gotten it because 2020 is just a curse and maybe that was right. <laughs> um, so I don't know. Let me know if you see a difference in camera quality. So in person, I feel like the match is pretty good. Um, it's a little, I mean, it looks a little dry. It is the uh, matte version of this. So that's not really too surprising. I may or may not like that. We'll find out. Um, in here though, <laughs> from what I can see, uh, it looks like it's a little light for me, um, but I feel like I also look a lot lighter in the camera. I'll have to see what I look like during the editing process, because I feel like um, a lot of the time lately I see things one way when I'm filming, when I'm looking directly into the camera, and then when I go back and look at it through the editing process and see what probably what you guys will end up seeing it looks different yet again so 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 far i mean i feel like this is going well um i feel like it's a little thicker then the hydrating one. I feel like it's, you know, it looks drier, which again, it's the matte one, so it's not surprising. Again, I pose the question, how much of this do you really want to see? <laughs> I never know. I mean, you can always skip over parts you don't want to see, but are my videos just too long and detailed? I don't know. finish up up here and then I am going to set this with my Maybelline fit me powder as I usually do with everything okay I think that's enough 
Um, my concern is that, well, that it's dry. So what will that look like, especially when I set it, because maybe it doesn't need that. And then um, how it looks from here to there to what you will finally see at the end. But part of that also has to do with the new camera. All right, well, <laughs> the eyes didn't exactly uh, come out as planned. Uh, this wing <laughs> is what I wanted. This wing just kind of did what it wanted. <laughs> um, but this is the finished look. I have everything on that I normally have on and more. I don't usually have eyeliner on. Um, I think it looks good. Again, I feel like what I'm seeing in there looks very pale. I mean, I am very pale, but still. Um, out here, I think it looks like my average look. Like, I don't think it looks any paler than usual. So we'll have to see what it looks like during editing. Um, it looks, it, it definitely looks different than the hydrating one. Like, more texture, but like, it's not necessarily a bad thing. As I drop everything off my dresser, let me just get rid of this little bit of fallout. So maybe you can see better what this looks like. Um, it's just different. I'm a little concerned about what will it do Again, by the end of the day, will it end up looking, like, dry in a bad sense, you know what I mean? Um, but I'll just have to wait and see what it looks like at the end of the day, and I'll either describe it to you in the description box, or I'll come back and show you. Also, I do feel like it covered better than the hydrating one, and when I uh, put my Maybelline Fit Me powder on top, it didn't move as much as opposed to when I powder over other concealers that I've tried, including the uh, hydrating one from e.l.f. And let me just do a couple comparison swatches for you. The hydrating one from e.l.f. looks like this. The camo one, like the regular one, the 16 hour one that I tried today, looks like that. Funny, on my arm now, yeah, this one, I mean, you could see it in there too, I think, that the 16-hour uh, one looks lighter, which I feel like in the camera, like I said, it looked lighter, but out here looks the same to me. And then just to show you, um, I was testing out the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is in Cool Ivory. And I'll show you the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer in Fair Rose as well. So the three e.l.f. ones here, here, and here are all in Fair Rose. I would say this one, the Flawless one, is a combination of the first two, shade-wise. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you have a good day no matter what it is you're doing. Bye! See you next time.